So the title of my talk today is The Underestimated Power of Keep Off. So let's begin by reminding ourselves what Keep Offs are. So Keep Off, they were introduced with Suite 4, and they basically offer us a way to defer the call to the getter or the setter of a property. So what does it look like in code? So Keep Off is a generic type. It has two generic parameters. The first one is the type on which you will invoke the Keep Off. The second one is the type of the property you want to get or set. And to get a literal key pass, you use this syntax where it's backslash name of the type dot name of the property, or in places where the type can be inferred, just backslash dot name of the properties. So how do you use it? Let's take a string. We're going to invoke the key path on it with this syntax, which is very close to a dictionary, and we get the value of the count, which is 15. And basically, you can see that they perform the same job than the getter or setter closure, just with much less curly braces and dollar zeros hanging around your code. So let's see how they can be leveraged with an example. So we are all familiar with this kind of Swift code. So functional programming, you take a closure. And let's see if we can make it work with a key path. So for this, we're going to introduce an operator. So it's going to be a very short operator, just the caret character. It's a prefix operator. And let's look at the signature. We're going to take a key path that's going to be invoked on a type to get a property. And we'll return a function that takes a type and returns a property. So we are going to map from key path to getter functions. How do we do this? We return a function. This function takes an object, and we invoke the key path on the object. Nothing fancy here. But with this, we are now able to turn this code into this code. And with just one extra character added, the operator, every single function in the standard library that expects a getter closure can now work with key path. So that's pretty nice. But as we know, in the standard library, it's not always this simple. For instance, you have functions like this, like sorted, where you expect a closure that will perform a comparison, meaning return a Boolean. And you'd like it to work with a keypath, because basically, as you can see, most of the time, we're going to compare objects on the same field, on the same property, because it just makes sense in the business logic. So how can we do this? We're just going to write a new helper. So we're going to call it there. You'll understand why in a minute. So it's going to take a couple of things as parameter. It's going to take first a key path, so over a type to get a property. And it's going to get a comparator, so it's a function that takes two instances of the property type, and it returns a Boolean, so standard comparison function. And to make the code less like, easy to use, we're going to give it a default value, which is the less than operator. And we're going to return a function that takes two instances of a type and return a Boolean, so a comparison function for the type. So we're going to return a function, like I said. It takes two objects from a type. Inside, we just invoke the key path over both objects, and we call the comparator. And with this, we are now able to turn code like this into this kind of code, which, runs, which reads like, uh, like very good English, people sorted by their last name. And you've got just enough like, punctuation to make it like some legit computer syntax. And if you want to go for even fancier stuff, you can see that you can provide like a specific a custom comparison operator, and the syntax is still very nice. It's people sorted by their last name compared with uh, grace, strictly greater than. So this is a lightning talk. So this is the end of the talk. I've only been able to show you like the tip of the iceberg, but I want you to get away from this talk that key paths are great. They are underused, but you should use them. You can have like many other possibilities. For instance, with key paths, you can buy build type-safe predicates that perform the same job than NS predicate, but with a type-safe approach. So it looks like this syntax. If you're interested in seeing more, I've left you a link to a GitHub. So it's a repo I have on GitHub where you can see how you can implement predicate system and lots of other cool stuff with KeePath. So if you enjoyed this talk, please go check it out. <laughs>